Hello and welcome to another episode of Glory of Golden State Gaming. I'm your host, Swamp Swimmer, and with me, as always, the Bonnie to my Clyde, Vespasian. Hey everybody. How you doing? <laughs> so Aaron, it's been a it's been a few weeks. Um we came back from uh, the SoCal Joust about a week ago, and uh, for the past two weeks, besides the tournament, I've been crazy busy with work. So we have uh, there's been a notable absence of videos on our channel. So, but we are back at it now, and we will be uh, going over our games um, at the Joust. Yeah, it should be a lot of good content for everybody. All right. But before we get into it, one little question for you. Have you, we haven't talked for a little while about the Marvel Disney Plus shows. Have you watched Loki? You know, I watched the first episode um, <clears throat> and I thought it was, I thought it was okay, but I didn't, I, it didn't like hook me, I guess. Um, really? I had the exact opposite. Yeah. I, I thought it was great. Okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, I thought yeah. that um, I thought that it, it it looked it definitely looked cool, and and it was kind of like I earmarked it for like you know worth looking at again. Um, but yeah, so I didn't I didn't jump right in, I guess. Nah. you uh, from what I can tell, like everything with all the multiverse stuff, with like the the next movies coming out and the next show is coming out, like it's all being kicked off from Loki because it like it deals with the multiverse. Oh. Okay, so I, I right. recommend well, watching it. I I. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was different okay. and unique and still action packed enough to, to hold my attention. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's get to the game. Hold on one yeah. second here. So uh, we're not jumping right directly into the tournament. We will first be talking about, uh, I had the pleasure of driving up to Aaron's place and having a friendly game with him, a, a prep game for the tournament where we both took lists that were, uh, close to what we actually brought i think i think at least in my case yeah same here i mean there i made some tweaks but like the, the core of it is is the same uh we rolled up frontline clash on table a8 with spoils of war uh and let's I talk it was about basically the it was the, the third mission right okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So my list, uh, I've got the the big quaddle on alchemy, the skin priest on palanquin with druidism. Um, uh, yeah, with druidism. Five skin captains, of course. The skink blunder, the 31 skinks with the tree farm banner. Bow skinks, bow skinks, a unit of javelin skinks, 20 temple guard, 15 chameleons, 15 chameleons, 15 hunters with bullpipes, 15 hunters with bullpipes, with bullpipes and two thyros with sun engine. This is my typical, uh, pretty close typical, uh, super, like, what, do I, what do I call it? The skink gun line list. Lots of poison shooting. Poison cloud. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The majority Die. of the strength from shooting comes from those two units of chameleons and the two units of hunters. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like it. I mean, I think, um, you know, we, we did a list review video and looking through all the lists, I feel like, you know, in general, in the meta, this was pretty good because there was a lot of monsters. Um, yeah. But there definitely were a few things that showed up that were not so great. So see how <laughs> see how you end up how you ended up doing. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go over your list really quick. This is tell me the differences between your uh, the list and the list review in this one. Yeah. So basically. I dropped a Lion Guard, the Queen's Guard, and replaced them with a Sea Guard Reaper um, and a unit of Grey Watchers. Um, and I think I kind of slightly tweaked the core. I think I, I put in, I did Flaming Banner in, in the Sea Guard, um, mm. instead of Navigator's Banner and kind of end up the bodies. Um, and then I think the rest of it. I, I think I, I added a dragon vein gem to the mage because uh, mm. I was expecting a lot of pyro and um, and ID. Uh, so I was kind of trying to make a meta call there. So uh, 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 that was that was it. So not not a huge change. <laughs> Did you still have the banner of a calming? Yeah, on the um, on the lion guard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, 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 well. Oh, where's my mouse? Yeah. There we go. All right. Well. Um... Oh, uh, I just, I left these pictures in here. These are my dogs, Chloe and Frida. We were out in Aaron's backyard. Yeah. Had a good time. But back to the game. It's a nice day. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> it was a nice day. Uh, outdoor, outdoor Ninth Age is always fun. Yes. So here's the setup. Um, I think we rolled for sides, uh, and you picked the side, and then I dropped first, and this was my first drop was the skinks in the center here. Yeah, that's right. And one one important note is that um, the thing that looks suspiciously like a field over in the left with the uh, the kind of Stonehenge on top of it, yeah, uh, that was actually a hill. Okay, um, yeah. We were we were a little short on uh, on actual flat terrain for that. So yeah, that yep, was a hill. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see. For my magic phase, I took the Quaddle took the Hereditary, Word of Iron, Glory of Gold, Corruption of Tin. I'd normally take the hereditary on the skink priest, but I really didn't have a good target for like, you know, Quicksilver Lash or Molten Copper. So he took yeah. the hereditary and then the skink priest took Healing Water, Summer Growth, and Entwining Roots, which is, um, yeah. I was playing the, I was, since I got this matchup and you see the forest right in kind of the middle of your deployment zone, I could I could get anyone with entwining boots and I I won't need to stop your shooting so that makes sense. Yep. Let's see here yeah, with my, your my list does yeah. not have a, like the I think the best armor I have in my list is a four up so definitely yeah. alchemy was not was not a perfect match there. Uh, yeah, with so your... on, on the oh, adept I took the um yeah with the adept I took the the favor of Melodus, the hereditary and stars align which is kind of like my default for for him you, um with do the, you with mean the, the favor of Melede? <laughs> that's the way you like to pronounce it yes <laughs> um I don't I, you know we could ask the team what the actual pronunciation is maybe you're right <laughs> um oh, and Melede sounds better so continue sir. yeah <laughs> Melede. um and then uh, I took all of the um all of the Master of the Kranig tower spells, um, you know, Lash was good with the Thyros, and um, mm -hmm. and then all of the all the regular spells. You you know, I, I debated on healing waters because you have the the alchemy guy, but um, I figured if it was that big of a deal, I could stop uh, Glory because you didn't have mm -hmm. in this version you don't have any flaming banners, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so I thought this was good, and Raven's Wing always good, and, and um, always spoils. a solid spell, always a solid yeah. spell. So this is after deployment. That actually a little bit of movement. Remember the the chameleons on the left? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So I if I remember correctly, I dropped to go first. Or we went through It's what did counter we do? thrust. So so it was counter run. thrust. I got that wrong. You're right. Yeah, so we, we so, did so. one we did one, two, three drops, and then I dropped everything to go first. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I kind of centered up, you kind of cast a little bit to the right. And then my chameleons, you gave me just barely enough room on the left to drop 18 inches away from the line guard and then march forward 12 and get out of your charge arc. Yeah, yeah, that was a mistake there. Um, yeah, you want to walk through what, your deployment? Let's see here, the chameleons on the far left, the hunters there, the, the bow skinks are blue skinks in the back. Big Skink Blender with the the Priest and the five Captains. Two Thyros in the center to hopefully kind of run out and then splay and become Chaff. The Skinks with Javelins in front of my Quaddle with the Temple Guard. Uh, another unit of Bow Skinks, another unit of Hunters, and then the Chameleon, another unit of Chameleons on the far right. What about you? So I've got the lions over on the left. Um, I think they're towed up on that hill, if I recall correctly. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. Um, and then the two giants there. So those are the Treeman uh, high elf giants. Um, Highborn elf yeah. giants? Oh, crazy. That's right. With giant clubs. Um, you know, the, the poison cloud really constrained these models. So mm -hmm. um, I would normally kind of treat them as flankers or you know or zoners and and in this one they have to stay safe behind the sea guard so there's the sea guard with uh i think it looks like i've got all the characters in there except for the adept which is back in the queen's guard the guys yeah. back there two reapers along the back reavers there i think that's after they vanguarded back mm -hmm. um the frosty and then the 20 spears in the ruins yeah yeah, cover. yeah, yeah. seems about yeah. right yeah, we talked a little bit about the, the this matchup in particular, and I had a we kind of agreed that I had a leg up 
As far as the poison shooting with two giants and the frost phoenix is a, is a good matchup for me. And so because of that, you, you felt like you had to play pretty conservative. Yeah, it definitely, it was not something where I could spread well because you can kind of isolate the kind of faster moving elements in my the monsters and wipe them out pretty easily, I would think. Um, so I was kind of playing a, a classic, like a compete for two of them pretty heavily mm -hmm. and, um, and use the lions as a bit of a distraction slash preventing you from focusing all of your forces sort of a thing, so yeah. yeah. Let's see, so my turn one, this is after movement. I don't, the chameleons are way off on the left. You can't see them in the shot, but they're over there. Uh, I kind of push up, kind of a little, I move forward a little bit on the left here. I want to get one of these Thyroscutuses into your spears. That's what I was thinking on the far right. So I started moving one over to the right as fast as I could. And then I didn't push on the right. I kind of sat back with the two skink blobs. One's behind the hill, so they're not getting shot. That's yeah, the chameleons so over there. Yeah, yeah, chameleons, yeah. So nothing too crazy here. Uh, in the magic phase, I got Oaken thrown up. I get in, I get the entwining roots off on the um, the queen's guard, which is nice. So they're minus two to hit. Mm -hmm. That's all I get in the magic page, which is fine. That's just fine for I was around focusing one on stopping corruption on the lions because yep. I, you know, with the amount of poison shooting you had over there, I felt like that would be, you know, take them out of the game, you know, basically in turn two. So yeah. And that's I remember that's I I, I tried it and you dispelled it. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Let's see here. There we okay. Go. So it's on to so, your turn. This is after your movement. Yeah, so um, you can see kind of moving up uh, cautiously on my left, you know, the, the right of this with the spears, you can kind of barely see it in the shade yeah, there. Um, so it's keeping the, barely keeping the cover from the ruins there and, and putting myself within march distance of the spoil. Mm -hmm. um, and then the frosty, you know, stayed back basically out of the range of, of the poison, even if you came forward. Um, the queen's guard didn't move because they were already minus two to hit um and the, the, the giants kind of liked their positioning kind of just tweaked a little bit and the sea guard moved forward just a, a bit just for ranges i think and um and then the lion guard poked up onto the hill i, I knew that i was giving your chameleons the flank but i didn't really care um yeah i'm and, not gonna charge you so yeah that was about it all right uh you get the favors up favors up yeah. lady Milady. Yeah, I and figured then... you were going to be coming in for, for lots of shooting next turn, so I think that, that favor covered everything except for the line guard, basically, so full coverage. And I think this this was sprinkled throughout units, but this was the total amount of shooting damage you did. Couple yeah, I from think there. I, I, I started hitting on the middle guys there um, and, uh, and, the, and the skink star, um, yeah. and yeah, that was that was it. I knew that I needed to whittle down that skink star um, so that I could engage it, basically. So yeah. So top of two, my movement phase. I basically try to encircle your um, your lion guard with these two skirmishers, and then move up the skink blender to if you decided to choose these guys or charge these guys, I could counter charge with the skink blender. Yep. Otherwise, I continue. Uh, everyone over here kind of stays where they are. I move the thyro, the thyro I want to get into the spears closer to them. You take some damage out of this um, hunter unit, but they're just they're fine right there. So I'm yeah. not again. I'm not pushing on the right at all because I know I can't with the um, with the spears in the in the ruins. I know I can't poison them to death, especially in the ruins. So I'm just gonna. I don't want any counter charges from your frosty. That's why I'm not pushing up on this side. All right. Yep. Magic phase. Okay. Throne goes back up. I get the corruption to tin off on um, on the lion guard. I think you just re rolled like a twenty three or something. Yeah, I, just, I, I rolled. I didn't roll well. I, I think I just didn't have the oh. the the dice to stop it. Yeah. Anyways. So uh, nothing really happens beyond that. I think we're already into oh more pictures of dogs. Um, we're already into your end phase. I think in the shooting phase, I don't do very much. I'm nothing big's happening. But then yeah. your 
uh, phase, you go for the charge into the skinks here. Mm -hmm. And another picture of my dogs are fantastic. I love them very much. Yep. So yeah, uh, go ahead. You talk about your turn. This is after movement. Yeah. So uh, after after corruption went up, I knew that the the lions' days were numbered. You, you actually had a pretty bad round of shooting over there, and I think only yeah. picked up like three or something. Yeah. Um, so I was I was yeah I knew that you know a more average couple of phases and they would just die with no with no value. So I decided to charge there. My my thinking was that I might um, might get lucky um, and break you and have you overrun and chaff up your own skink mm. blender. Um, and then, you know, kind of worst case scenario, I, you know, I was kind of already where I was, which was losing the lions, right? So I, I knew that they were, you know, they were doing that. Um, otherwise, I did start to move because you've got so much of your poison so heavily committed over on the on the my right, your left. Um, mm -hmm. I did start to get a little bit more aggressive with the giants. Um, there was a spot that put me in good zoning position. Um, I figured that the spears could hold the Thyro's charge and then I could counter charge with the giant and maybe the frosty. Um, so I did that. Uh, I also moved the BSB back into the Queen's Guard so you can kind of mm -hmm. see his, yeah. And I moved the Queen's Guard up. Um, my reasoning there was I had, um, I had a 12 inch um, range with a lot of my unit. Um, so I was already gonna be hitting on fours. I could buff them if I needed to. Um, and crucially, they were within range of the cover volley um, for the Lion Guard. That was the big the big point of that yeah. move. So if you did charge with the Skink Star, I could get a free cover volley off of it. So I was feeling pretty good about about uh, this positioning here. Yep. Yeah, I remember I was definitely thinking about if you broke the Skink Hunters here. That's why I angled it the way they are. The only way they would cover me if I rolled high. Yeah. But I did not, I did not remember the cover, the volley, fire, the cover fire rule. So I, I yeah. when you when you made that stand and shoot, I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, okay. So then, let's yeah, see here. You get, yeah. you get favors again. Yeah. Great spell. Yeah. Um, I, I I figured you'd have to let something up um, yeah. on the sea guard. So yeah. And there we go. So this is after combat. You kill five of them, which was bad rolling on your part. Yeah, I think and it's three, but two, right? Uh, with yeah. with eleven attacks. So yeah, not not great. But I you mean, choose. Not two, so it's okay. Yeah, you choose to stay. I flee. I don't know. Looks like six inches or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, that sets me up for my turn. Which I mean, I'm getting bad at taking pictures, but I take the charge. You do the cover fire and take out a big chunk of my guys. But I still feel yeah. confident because the majority of the power of this unit is coming from the characters. Yeah, my my real hope here was to kind of the take the teeth out of the skink star and try to um, try to take off you know two or three of the characters. I uh, went mm -hmm. wide, so I'd have X some extra attacks to do that. Um, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah. All right. So this is after my movement. Uh, I rally those guys. Uh, I the skink the bow skinks have no job to do on the left, so they just go and pick up the token. Uh, I push up with the this is this is more damage from your shooting phase. This unit's down to two guys, and I was planning. I'm pretty sure that was the queen's guard, if I recall yeah. correctly, because I think the sea guard focused on the um, on the star. Yeah. I push them up, thinking I can maybe regrow a few. Uh, but they're they're safe where they are right now, and if you want to uh, use your shooting to get rid of them, that's fine. The chameleons top up on the hill here, out of your charge arc, and just want to soften up this unit a little bit. And then also my um, skinks with javelins move up to chaff your uh, your lion your sea guard. Yep. And I get that summer growth off. Yeah. I get that summer growth off, though this unit's back to a good amount. Yeah, and I think I was focused on stopping the buffs and, yeah. and, uh, and heals and stuff on the Skink Star. I get the hereditary off, and I this is just it happens too often with all like the D6 strength whatever spells. You roll a one, you roll a two, and then it's just it's a useless spell. Yeah. So that's also why I hate um, Silver Spike. 
I think you did one wound and I stopped it with the hereditary or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So, um, my skinks, they just eat your lion guard. Yeah, one guy I, left. I rolled, I rolled really poorly and I think I only got one of the characters, which I was hoping for at least two. Uh, yeah. I think I killed a couple of random guys too, but yeah, a little, a little disappointed there. Um, and also I lose the calming banner for the rest of the game, which is definitely a shame, but if you kind of think macro, the goal of the lions has been achieved. They, they tied up the skink star and two of your big poison shooting units for almost half the game at this point, right? So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see over here. This is into your turn. Uh, you take the charge with the giant into the flank of my thyro, which I'm okay with because I'm still within 12 of my general so there he's not going anywhere yeah I was kind of just interested to see how this matchup went I, I kind of um full strength giants you know I, I was in good spell ranges um so I thought that I could you know probably outgrind you um mm -hmm. since you're hitting with your crush on fours right so yeah I mean it's it's swingy but I was I was thinking it would be okay uh, what else? You move up a little bit in the center here. Yeah, I back up. I, I grab the spoil on my left, your right, and with uh -huh. the spears and back up. Um, bring the frosty up for zoning, um, and I, I kind of adjust and shift so that your skink stars in my front with the sea guard, uh, and get ready for another another round of shooting. <laughs> oh, and I pull uh, that. I pull that giant in the back back there. Um, that was a, oh, a range thing. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, because you were at a 24 from this skink, uh, the, these chameleons here. Yeah, I wanted him there just to kind of help clean up what was left of the skink star after the uh, after the sea guard. Basically, that was my, my thought. So and we had some lunch burritos. Um, oh, they did, oh yeah. the burritos are there. Yeah. So this is the yeah. the big what the fuck moment in uh so, so in the game so go back so go back to the last one so yeah. I, i'll be honest i was i was actually feeling really confident so far right so mm -hmm. I, I think the skink star is is going to be combat ineffective after one round of shooting i was confident with the you know with the spoil on my left with the spears now that i would tied up the thyro um i felt like i had good zoning and um you know at this point once the skink star is dealt with i can start focus firing on all of those little elements with the sea guard and the queen's guard and the reaper so i was feeling really really good and then i go on to the next one in my magic phase i three dice a um i three dice a stars align on the sea was guard it three or four it, i can't remember it was, it was three because it was strength three um i uh. three dice a stars align with the sea on the sea guard just give him reroll the hit it wasn't an important spell miscast which fire so threes right um and uh um, and you roll and you roll big on the damage and i roll 11 on the damage and yeah. then i and then i killed seven queen's guard and then with a re-rollable 10 i <laughs> fail the panic check and run oh so Ooh. so do do the math on a miscast on three dice and 11 on two dice seven set you know enough enough to cause the panic and then also failing re-rollable 10 and you get to something that's somewhere in the neighborhood of like one in ten thousand <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty cool um so yeah it was uh this was a this was a big bummer right because this is my bsb a big part of my shooting phase my you know adept with book with the with the hereditary a, this is a big a big big swing here and it's your turn next and you do yeah. have a unit within charge range yeah i was gonna try there. to find the picture yeah see and then you fled and you fled kind of right in front of your of the reapers and they were yeah. just within charge distance of this so in my turn i could just charge them off the board awesome yep this was <laughs> a pretty big swing it's like a eight what is, what is it it's like a it's like uh 600 800 300 it's 1100 points right <laughs> right there yep uh, not, and and half my magic phase not great <laughs> not great <laughs> so in the combat with the uh thyro i, I have... do get guys light up on this on this treatment which is, is yeah. worth 
noting. That was part of my machinations with where that unit was positioned because he's out of general range. So I wanted him you know, to have I, a. We don't do very much. I think you do one wound to me and then I stick and that's it. Yep, that's it. Which is what I was hoping for. You reform basically yeah. to get the combat res. Yeah. So my turn, I take the charge to charge the, um, the guys off the board. I think your Reaper also fails its panic check and can't shoot. Yeah, that was also great. <laughs> what else happens here? Oh, and here's, okay, here's so, the... So now you got to see what happened with the Skink Star, right? So I killed all the rank and file models in that yep. unit. And you had the, just the four characters and the priest left. So you went and hid the priest and clouded out all the characters to kind of various interesting spots. One chaffing the giant. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was trying to trap the giant and then stay away from him enough uh, to not cause panics in the other um, the other chiefs. And then I don't really remember what else I was doing. I was just trying to spread out points at this point. Uh, let's see here. I get Oaken thrown up. I get Spark of Creation on this guy again and again do zero wounds to it, which is just so frustrating. And then I get a healing waters off on the thyro, heal the wound. So now I'm a I'm a one up four up at full strength, which is kind of cool. Yep. And to be honest, I was happy just sitting there, so I was okay with that. Uh, yeah. Didn't mind but it. then, but then you see yeah. I think I do the crush attack, but we played this wrong because you are technically steadfast yes. with that giant. Because yeah. I am just a large cavalry. I do not have a rank. You have a rank. And we played it wrong. I like, I broke you and ran you down in the game, but you shouldn't have broken. Yeah, correct. So, and and this was this was even with the minimize from guiding light. So I think you mm -hmm. beat me by one because you, you poked through a wound, and yeah. um, and then and then uh, we forgot that I was steadfast, and I would have passed it on the eight, but uh, forgot and you ran me down. So bummer. Things <laughs> things felt like they were slipping away here. <laughs> All right. So in your turn. Let's see here. Uh, you take the charge with the sea guard into my chaff piece. Yep. So I, I go for that because I need to get him out of the way if I'm going to get that central token. Um, and I use the frostiest chaff against the thyro so that you can't mm -hmm. come into my flank. Um, I pull the the remaining giant uh, back into the center. Um, I, I knew that if I went after that chaffing skink chief that I'd just get poisoned to death, so I pulled him out of range. Oh, and then you uh, charge that skink, yeah. Yeah, I charge with the reavers. Um, I mean, skinks are weak. I, I thought I might take one or two casualties and then finish him up, and I'd still have a relevant chaff piece that might draw your your poison shooting away from, from the center. Uh, and then I turn the sea guard in uh, thinking that i could use them for some support um this was a mistake i should have just kept withdrawing them it, it got it, we'll, we'll see later but it, it was i think strategically a mistake but yeah so let's see you get um a lot of buffs up altered sight and awaken the beast on the uh on the spirit here yeah correct uh, i mean now that i don't have the div mage uh, you know my you know so much of this game is is hinging on the sea guard right so i pick up that unit and then uh, turn so that the temple guard are in my front and I'm on the token, basically. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So in my turn, I'm trying to remember my thought process here, but um, I push up here to just poison off your um, your reavers because I my uh, my skink priest survived, our skink chief I think survived. he takes no wounds even and run. Yeah, and, 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 and then I run runs. and I outrun you. It was pretty funny. Yeah. So that, that um, my little tactic there, it didn't it didn't work in in terms of picking up the chief, but I did draw your chameleons away for another turn, I guess. So, yeah. I felt better with the thyro going against the giant than against the frost phoenix for some reason. So I just walked by you and then did this, and I also this was I was trying what I was trying to do. I charged the flank of the uh, sea guard with the thyro. And then put one skink priest like right up next to your back so you couldn't reform. That was my thought process. I don't know how great it was, but. And then yeah. I was, and I did, I did, I remember I didn't want to take my temple guard into that unit so buffed up. Yeah, that was the whole point behind buffing them all up. So, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so that was what I did in the movement phase. Again, I get Spark of Creation up. I think I do one wound there, maybe two. Yeah. yeah. So, you, um, nothing really happens in this combat. Maybe I can kill a couple Seaguard, and you reform like this, which is interesting. Yeah, there was, there was just enough room for me to be um, out of one inch, but keep the Temple Guard in the front. Um, mm -hmm. which was, which was the, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't think there was anything that you really could have done about, about this. Um, I, I do think that the, the approach was, a was a good one. I think you would have just, it would have taken a little bit of, this is the kind of stuff that you can pre-measure on UB, uh, you know, yeah. th that the reason why the games take five hours, because you can like pop up 16 different reforms and, and look at them. <laughs> um, I think this one was just, it was going to be tough. And I think you would have need to have the temple guard positioned a little bit differently. So, yeah. And then you also bring the Frosty into my Temple Guard. Yeah, and you do you did a bunch of wounds to the to the spears over there. Yeah, who, and this was who luckily stuck, which was. I was hoping was... by the end of the game to with these two units put enough damage on these guys that I kill them all. But it's a uh, swingy, it's swingy. I I was really lucky in this round, so I was feeling good. And you also yeah. bring the giant into my Thyro there. Yeah, so the Frosty went into the Temple Guard. Basically, my thinking was just to hold him up, right? Because I, mm -hmm. I think, you know, if you have no way to contest the central objective, um, you know, and, and that guy's pretty good at grinding, um, he, he ends up with a five up, five up against you, right? So I was, I was feeling like he could hold on for long enough. Because at this point, we're, we're pretty far along in turns, right? This is turn five, you said? Shoot, I don't know. Something sure, like let's call that. it turn five. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I, you know, it worked so well the first time. I figured, why not bring another giant into the Thyroscutus? You know. <laughs> uh, I get healing waters off on this Thyro. Yep. I get Word of Iron off on my Temple Guard. Uh, that looks like about it. I think we're jumping we around now. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I so I, I end up popping your. Um, your but frosty. Usually, it takes two turns, right? So basically, yeah. it was like a chaff charge. Yep. Yep. Uh, this, they, these two just end up sitting here, beating on each other. The Thyro and the Giant, and I continue to whittle down your spears until I get them to that many guys. And I think that's the same picture there. You get him down to one wound. I remember this, and he survives. The Thyro against your uh, Sea Guard. Yeah. Uh, you get a bunch of. This is back to your it's turn. Great. Yeah, just keep keep buffing them, essentially. Yeah. Yep. Um, I think I think that uh, one thing that there was uh, I did I did get some defensive buffs up on the spears. I think um, just to try to keep them alive. Um, but fortunately. Um, I still think it was better. It would have been better to keep pulling him back, but um, mm -hmm. fortunately, I did think, you know, quickly enough to get them within 12 inches of the general, which actually mm -hmm. I would have failed the last yep. panic check that you made me take if I hadn't been. So, um, so, so they held on. Um, I think I got half points for that thi the thyro on the left, but not for the other thyro because that that exactly. guy stuck around. Um, and we, I ended up grabbing the the. You get the secondary. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. And we end up with a 10 10. Yeah. Yeah. What can you do? You put, yeah. You put it, you put a big hurt on me in terms of points, but I was able to, to get that objective to bring it back to a 10 10. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got lucky with your, um, with your BSB and your wizard running away with the Queen's Guard. That helped me out a big time. But I was anticipating put enough hurt, or I wasn't. I, I should have pushed harder against your uh, spears sooner. Because I think another shooting phase would have could have done it to them. But I was I was really I was being very cagey with these chameleons. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I kind of had, had a um, if, I think if you look back, I don't even think they came out until turn three or four. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, you're definitely being really cagey there. I also underestimated, you know, you think poison, you think it's good at taking single wounds off of big things, but like you just were just pushing through damage on those spears. It, 
Yeah, so if you get the if you get the volume, six. it's yeah. yeah. Yeah, that surprised me, but yeah. No, it's a good game. Yeah. Um I feel like I made the right move putting my skink blender into the lion guard to destroy them even though they just got whittled down along the way. I think they wouldn't have done as well against the um the sea guard block. Yeah. Yeah, the cut the all the stand and shoot and then all this the agility seven attacks is a lot because i think your characters go simo but your skinks go second right so mm -hmm. um you're gonna lose a lot before you get to strike um so yeah i, I liked i liked the my matchup against the skink star i felt like that you had some really hard counters to my 900 points of monsters right so yeah um that was tough but um no good really good game yeah, the last thing I, was, I wonder is if I had gone in here, when you even though you were all buffed up with the sea, with the sea guard, gone in with my temple guard, and then tried to buff them up as much as I could, yeah. if it would have worked, I don't know. But yeah, that's that. I think that was the only opportunity for me to get the the secondary back. But yeah, I mean, you were comfortably up on points, right? So you'd be yeah. you'd be risking a, a a big loss if you lose the 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 quad all right so yeah. yeah really all right so that ends it up with a 10-10 uh, i think we're both feeling good about our list going into socal joust yeah we and we'll see where it goes changes. yeah we clearly thought we were we were happy with them so good game thanks kenyon thanks for driving <sighs> up. thank you as always it's always fun to go up there and bring up the dogs and uh have a few uh a beer or two yeah so, exactly next video is coming up will be socal joust thank you everyone for watching please like and subscribe and have a good evening. Take care, everybody.